The goal of any recycling program is to find new uses for old materials. In Schenectady County, we've done just that. We've pioneered a new program that turns discarded glass bottles into a powerful tool for soil and water conservation. A program that saves money and helps the environment. A program that can benefit other recycling programs and recycling centers around the country. How did we do it? To answer that, we first have to ask what happens to the glass containers we leave in our recycling bins. The first step is a stop at the local material recovery facility, or MRF. When the glass arrives here from the city, it's uh, commingled TPG, tin, plastic, and glass. It is dumped by the vehicles in one of the many bins and when we're ready for that particular material, it's brought in with a payloader and dumped on a pit with a series of conveyor belts that takes it up to a sorting line. And we have uh, sorters that are assigned to each particular material. Once the glass reaches the end of the, the main sort line, it drops into the glass pulverizing area. And that, at that point, it goes up into the glass pulverizer, is ground up and sent down through a trommel screen, which sorts it into two different sizes a fine sand size and a little coarser aggr aggregate, about 3 eighths of an inch, approximately. These materials are now no longer waste. They are raw material for manufacturing. Being that much of this glass is broken prior to arrival at the MRF, it is impossible to manually sort it into the uniform colors required to sell it to bottle manufacturers. Other than the bottle market, the only local market for post-consumer glass is the market for roadbeds and paving. This market never provided adequate financial returns. In recent years, it has even gotten worse as studies have found that breaking distances are longer on glassfalt than on regular asphalt. So what can be done with the crushed post-consumer glass that is a product of the Schenectady County MRF and other MRFs around the nation? Enter the Farmer and Soil and Water Conservation District SWCD Agricultural Drainage Projects. A little history on this is the Schenectady County Conservation District is involved with the Schenectady County Recycling Facility. Um, we do a paper product line as well as a mixed container line. There were no good markets locally for glass. And one of the things we noticed was the um, cost of handling glass was becoming excessive. So we ended up having to pay a large amount of money to dispose of it. And we just thought that using this material in drainage projects instead of disposing of it at $60 a ton was a make sense project. My concerns are the workability and the performance of the glass aggregate. And in addition, the interaction of the glass aggregate with the drain system. Um, soil migration is another uh, concern of mine, the soil migrating into the glass, or in addition, the glass migrating into the tubing. Is it going to be a mess? Is it going to, you know, going to pollute my bottom? Or is it going to be shot up? Is it, am I going to cut my tires on it? Why glass? You know, why not stone or gravel or something like that? With the cattle around at times in different fields where we put tile lines in, are they going to lick some of this glass off the surface and going to have some uh, problems down the road? Performance is equal or better on a drain that was installed with a glass envelope. It is uh, performing much better than a gravel envelope on a control test. Well, you can stick your fingers right into it, and it just it's not shot up at all, and it's, it's clean. Actually, for people or, or uh, local governments who would propose to use uh, processed glass, uh, which is glass processed to meet some aggregate specification, uh, to use that beneficially, the department has developed regulations that allow that to be used with little or no interaction with the department. We had no problem whatsoever uh, with a tractor loader loading the glass and putting it on the tile line, none whatsoever. But it seems to be lighter and easy to move through the ditch as far as labor goes. And 
And as a matter of fact, I think it even looks better than stone. It kind of it looks like a sponge. You know, number one, crushed stone, uh, the, the difference between that and glass is going to be the cost effectiveness. It was better than what I thought it would be, the glass. Compared to what it was before, after the, after the tiling was put in, with the glass, it was just, you know, completely different, and it's, it's, a, it's a nice field now. The field is just unbelievably better than it was before. Well, actually, this project is, is basically a flagship to us. It shows that uh, a material which is, uh, tends to be discarded at times and take a valuable landfill space can be used productively, and I think uh, this is the type of project that the department highly supports. When we first started the glass drainage projects on the farms, there was a lot of hesitancy. I'll be honest, I had to go out and solicit people to try to get them interested in doing it. Once the first couple projects went in, people came out of the woodwork. Since the project has started, we have sold about 600 tons, and the project started in the spring of 1997, and now we're at October. We produce 2,200 tons per year of this material. I believe we can start developing a market for it. The beauty of this project, utilizing the glass and drainage projects, is that instead of paying to get rid of the material as we did in the past, we are able to now actually make a small amount of money per ton, and it's being put to an excellent use. It just works excellent. Putting in the glass, it's workable material, it's easy to work with. We had no problem whatsoever uh, with a tractor loader loading the glass and putting it on the tile line, none whatsoever. If you want to survive in this economy and that, if there's any new ideas that, that might be more beneficial to you, and this, if the drainage works better than that, that's, that's what, what we want to do. By turning recycled glass into a drainage material product, the environment benefits twice. By turning an expenditure into a profit, the county saves taxpayers money. Schenectady County's new program is leading the way for recycling centers around the country, finding innovative solutions for modern problems. <laughs>